Today I've got a special project, uh, kind of out of the ordinary, but anyways, this is my light bulb testing machine. Um, little side story, I had a night light in my bathroom and I noticed I kept replacing the bulbs quite often, so um, it occurred to me maybe I need to test and see if these things are really good for as many hours as they say they are. So what it is, is it's just a 4 watt night light light bulb in a candelabra base and got 120 volts power in these and then I've got a small circuit board down here that I built to turn the hour meters off if the bulb dies. So if you can see this contact right here will go out when I unscrew the bulb. And that's pretty much all it is. I don't know if you can hear that hour meter. It's got a quartz, we've got a quartz hour meter here and this one actually has a motor with a worm gear and all the good stuff in it. It's a little bit better of a hour meter made in Germany. This one was China. Um, the light bulbs that I'm testing are just random whatever they had at the store. This is a Westinghouse 4 watt night light. 3,000 hours. Um, and I have a Sylvania. Same thing. 4 watts. 3,000 hours. So we put this to the test and see how far these light bulbs go. Uh, by my calculations, it's 125 days, 3,000 hours. So today is April 22nd. That should be August 25th of 2018 when these bulbs burn out. Now one thing I will say is when the manufacturers test their light bulbs they'll just take a batch of light bulbs and uh, whenever half of them burn out then they stop the time and that's their 3,000 hours that they get. So there's a 50% chance these won't last 3,000 hours and there's a 50% chance they'll last longer than 3,000 hours so we'll just have to see. Um, a little bit more about this circuit board. I've just got a simple photo resistor for my sensor and then it's just a 12 volt circuit. I got two uh, two of the same thing on this board. It's their 741 op amps set up as comparators and uh, I've got this set at uh, 4.6 volts as my standard and then the uh, resistance changes when the light changes so when the lights not there it triggers a circuit and uh, turns on the relay and the hour meters are going through the relay there's really not a whole lot to this uh, put it together in a few hours so we'll test it and see what our results are in about three months